What's up Affordable Army folks? How y'all doing? Today I wanted to make a video and talk about is the Taurus G2C or the G3C still relevant? So let's talk about it. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you'll find out when future videos come out. Alright, so recently Taurus announced their new pistol, the Taurus GX4. And it's sort of a sub micro compact, if you will. Uh, it holds 11 rounds. It's the same size as your 6 hour P365, your Springfield Hellcat, and guns like that. But it's a little bit more affordable. And so, got me thinking you know, that's 11 round capacity in that gun, and the G2C is a 12 round capacity, um, and so is the G3C. And I'm just wondering, is that gun still relevant? And I'm gonna tell you, I kind of think it is, and there's a couple reasons. So first of all, let's talk about price. The GX4 is going for right around $400, somewhere in that price range. Um, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. You know, you can find it, if you can find it, because it's a very hard gun to find at the moment. Um, but it's more expensive. So the, the G2Cs are still going for, you used to be able to get them for 200 bucks, they're more like 300 now, and the G3C is not much more than that. So uh, reason number one that they're still relevant is because they're still cheaper. Um, reason number two I think that they're still relevant is compatibility. So you've got the big brother gun, the Taurus G3, and those magazines will work in the G2C and the G3C. So. For the sheer fact that you can use those magazines between the two guns, you've got a subcompact gun and a full-size gun. Uh, it's sort of the old like Glock 26 and Glock 19 or 17 type of deal. Um, so I think it's it's still relevant for that reason as well. The last reason I think the G2C and G3C are still going to be relevant is really based on how they shoot. Uh, these new micro compacts or high capacity micros, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're hard to shoot, I'll be honest. Uh, they're so small, uh, but they have a lot of capacity, and so they're very easy to conceal, yes, but you can shoot a G2C or a G3C much better because they're bigger. They're easier to hold on to, and it's not like they're that much harder to conceal. Plus, holsters are really easy to find for them. They've been around long enough that a lot of companies are making holsters for these guns, whereas the GX4 is brand new. So finding a holster for it, eh, I'm, I'm sure there's a couple companies out there making them at this point. But the G2C and G3C have been around long enough that it's way easier to, to find a holster for them. And I just think they're much more shootable guns. They've been around longer, they cost less, the magazine interchangeability, and they're still fairly easy to conceal. They're, it's not like they're a super large gun or something. So let me know what you guys think below. Um, do you think the GX4 is gonna put the G2C and the G3C out? I don't personally think that, but let me know what you guys think below. As always, guys, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where all of our social media links are. That's where our affiliate links are, so you can save yourself some money on something you were going to buy anyway. And we've got hats, t-shirts, mugs, stickers, and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.